So we will see uh, one more example for writing loops. Um, uh, we'll see a slightly trickier example, and we'll cover this over multiple sessions. So the problem is the following: uh, we have to read a sequence of numbers until a minus one is read. Minus one indicates that okay, the end, the sequence has ended. And the question is, we have to output the length of the longest contiguous increasing subsequence. Okay, so that's a lot of words. Let's illustrate it with an example. Okay, let's say that the input is of the following um, uh, numbers: nine, two, four, zero, three, four, six. 9 2 and then finally a minus 1 okay and we have to output the length of the longest contiguous increasing subsequence so let's say what do i mean by a contiguous increasing subsequence okay so i say that 9 is an increasing subsequence then the next number is 2 2 is less than 9 okay so 9 and 2 cannot be part of a subsequence where the numbers keep on increasing. Okay. So 2 is the start of a new sequence. Again uh, the next number is 4. So 2 and 4 form an increasing sequence. So you can continue increasing the sequence. The next number is 0. 0 is less than 4. So you break the sequence there. And then when you look at the uh, succeeding numbers 0, 3, 4, 6, 9 they form an increasing sequence and the last number is 2 which is lesser than 9 so the increasing sequence stops here okay so these are the increasing contiguous subsequences contiguous means uh, together occur occurring um, adjacent to each other so the largest or the longest contiguous subsequence is obviously 0 3 4 6 9 okay and the length of that sequence is 5 let's take another example uh, 11 9 7 8 11 12 15 15 and minus 1 okay so uh, just to illustrate the point uh, 11 uh, is greater than 9 so that can't be an increasing sequence 9 is greater than 7 so that's another uh, the increasing sequence is just 9 but then 7 8 11 12 15 these are increasing and i decided to stop here even though the next number was 15 because i am interested in an increasing subsequence so 15 and 15 are equal numbers so we break it there so the longest increasing subsequence is 7 8 11 12 15 and its length is 5 okay. so this is the longest contiguous increasing subsequence so here is a basic property given any sequence of numbers we can break it into uh, a collection of increasing contiguous subsequences for example the numbers that uh, the sequence that we have seen uh, so 9240346692 and uh, that uh, the length of the increasing the longest increasing contiguous subsequence is 5 okay. so we have to write a program to do this given a sequence of numbers find the length of the longest increasing subsequence So how do we do it? We do it uh, in the way that we have been uh, writing loops so far like adding n numbers and finding their sum and so on. The idea was that you start from the first number and keep on adding uh, the numbers until you hit a minus 1 at which point you have the sum. So the idea of this algorithm was that you start from the first and you keep reading okay, until a certain condition happens. We will adapt that idea to solve our current problem. So what we need to do is to keep track of the current increasing subsequence. Let us say that it is denoted by S. Okay. So before we get into the code, let us see how we will do it by hand. So initially the uh, increasing subsequence is S and let us say that it is empty. Okay. After you read 9, you have an increasing subsequence which consists of exactly one number. So S is 9. Now the next number is 10, 
10 is greater than 9 so you extend this okay. read the next number 4 4 is less than 10 right so 9 10 4 cannot be an increasing subsequence therefore you say that uh, you break the subsequence there okay so 9 10 is a different subsequence now you start a new subsequence uh, which is 4 so the current subsequence is just 4 so 0 is less than 4 so you break it there the current increasing subsequence becomes 0 read the next number 3 3 is greater than 0 so you extend the subsequence s is now 0 3 4 4 is greater than 3 so the sequence becomes 0 3 4 and so on okay so what are we doing here we are reading the uh, uh, re we are reading the numbers integer by integer and we are keeping track of the current increasing subsequence okay so this is part of what we want to do now in order to decide whether we should increase the subsequence extend it or break the subsequence and start a new sequence what we need to do is we should remember what was the previous number we saw and what is the current number that we are seeing so with two variables we can say whether uh, the uh, subsequence should be extended or should be broken at this point okay so if the previous number is less than the current number then we should increase the we should extend the subsequence if the previous number is greater than or equal to the current number then we should break the subsequence and start a new sequence okay so extend the sequence means add one to the length of the current decreasing subsequence and add add that number to the subsequence okay reset means you start a new sequence of length one okay so from the current uh, from the description that we have seen so far we need the following variables um, we need c which is for the current red C uh, number p which is the previous number that we have seen and len which is the length of the current increasing sequence so we store the previous number into p store the current length of the increasing subsequence into len and read the next number into uh, c okay so if uh, the previous number is less than the current number so we take the true branch in which case we extend the sequence so the new number that we have read is part of the currently increasing subsequence so increase the length of the sequence by one and now we move lock step so what we do is so we are at a stage where suppose we have numbers 1 2 and 3 suppose p was pointing to 1 c was pointing to 2 so uh, since 2 was greater than 1 we extend the sequence after extending the sequence we have to proceed and see what will happen with the next number so you, when you do that you can do the following i will extend the current sequence by doing the following i will now set p equal to 2 and c equal to 3 okay. so this is a this is the idea that we will advance both the variables by one number each okay so that it is always true that previous is one number behind current okay so i hope this idea is clear that uh, in order to ensure that p is one number behind current you have to advance both p and c so assign p to c this will advance p and then read the next number so that will become c now what happens if uh, c is greater than or equal to p okay then the new number is not part of the current increasing subsequence so you start a new sequence which is of length one and again do the same assign p to c which is advancing the pointer and read the next number so here is the method that we will follow in order to keep track of the current increasing subsequence now what is left is to find the longest of all the increasing subsequences that we find 